There we go. That makes more sense. So. <laughs> Today's going to be a fun day. Finish this game. Hopefully. Or not. No idea. And uh, maybe have a little bit of story time. No idea if we'll have story time. Story time happens. It's going to be a fun story. Um, well, actually, two stories. Short story. Um, totally left work early today, by which I mean left at the normal time. I was supposed to be at a meeting. The meeting didn't la didn't end until 17 minutes after our normal clock out. When normal clock out time hit, I was out the fucking door. <laughs> Just fuck that shit. Why would I stay when I don't need to? I also love that it says controllers not supported. Controllers are absolutely supported. I don't know what it's talking about. So how's everybody's day? Where the fuck is my... I was about to say, where is my audio? Oh, I kept my, uh... My options. Even in the... Night opening. Night That's night. great. I love it. I love the option menu of this game. The fact that you can change... All of this. Just... Oh, it's so good. Bunleth knows what she's doing. <laughs> oh god, my chat. Go away! Get that shit out of my fucking thing! Oh my god. Uh, why is this happening? It's trying to tell me, oh, you can get awards for Apple Plus. I don't care about Apple Plus! Get out of my fucking thing! Dismiss! Do not show again! Oh, well, I'm slow. I'm like 20 seconds behind. Wait, like, I'm gonna hit graphics now. Uh. I'm like that one gem from Steven Universe. Oh. oh, I know what gem you're talking about. I love that gem, though. You now it's me who replies. Oh. BSS, how are you? You may or may not have just missed the fact that I left work 17 minutes early because they wanted me to stay 17 minutes after the, the shift end because of a meeting. And it's like, no, the meeting goes past 7. I'm out. I'm done. Matches played 7. Insight 19. Blood droplets. 2,380. I've been better, but I've also been worse. I feel ya. I feel, yeah. I feel great only because yesterday I let chaos take over and pretty much destroyed somebody. <laughs> Not something that one should be proud of, but when they're a piece of shit transphobic cunt bag who also religiously, not a joke, worships the orange man um you just kind of have to destroy a fucker right so i did i laid a match at their feet thought the match was just gonna be a match let's see what happens Turned up by saying one thing I did not lay matched down at their feet. I crashed a plane into a tower. <laughs> and then all hell broke loose. And it was great. Now that person shows up on the stream. It is your job to boot that cunt. For being transphobic and a piece of shit. And many, many, many other things. Continue. We fight Maria. Not Maria. Right. Totally not Maria. S somebody else named Mary with an I-E. Right. To this is not Bloodborne. Funny that I have a Bloodborne podcast recording in a month. 
And I might just talk about this game instead of actual Bloodborne. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so pale. Why are you so pale? Oh, I know very well. Oh, why? Because she still has to look like the doll the in this version, huh? Secrets whispered in your ear. Tell me your secrets that no one should there hear. Whisper them softly into my ear. As intoxicated as yourself. To death. Oh, look! We're in the DLC before ever actually beating the main game. But we didn't get a cutscene of an amygdala grabbing us. I mean, not an amygdala. Totally not an amygdala. Testing. One, two, three. God, chocolate milk is great. Still loggy. Oh, well. Nah, it's fine. Uh-oh. Well, it's fine. We got this. I believe. Tell me it actually does the, the DLC levels. Shit. Fuck. Oh. Ow. Okay, we need. Oh, yeah. There we go. And I am. So, of course, it gives me a Molotov. Wait, why am I in the castle or the, the Kinehurst Hall? Whatever the hell it's called. I'm supposed to be doing something else. I don't think I'm winning. That's fine. I think I actually can still win. Princess has Chalky Milk because she is epic. Chalky Milk is the best. And it is high in potassium, which I do not get because I do not eat the, uh, the disgusting things known as the, uh, oh god, it's the, the fucking presents. Not the presents. The thing. Oh my god, poor Nicholas. I know that guy. Kinda. Not really. God damn it. Okay, how did I get from someone to four? You know what? I'm not gonna accept it. I'm just gonna. In a minute. Oh shit, 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 shit. Fuck, come on! Like I said, I will, I will look at chat. you, dude. Now I'm ahead. Go, 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 go. Come on. Here we go. Come on. I'm gonna be in the background today, so if I don't say much, I am here. Yeah, chocolate milk is great, especially since it's high in potassium, but then I don't get because bananas are gross. <laughs> they icky. I do not understand the love of the bananas. Then it got tense? It got great. Nicholas, the name echoes in the hunter's mind. The angelic knowledge that the mistress spoke of 
Perhaps this Nicholas could unlock the answers to this nightmare. Armed with this information, the hunter begins their return journey to the Seri of Maglodia to find him. Although the trip will be fraught with danger, a friendly face soothes the nerves. Uh, Angel Arena, who is our friendly person? Our friendly person is the Raven, which I still don't remember who the fuck that is. Like, I don't, I feel like I should know who that is, but I cannot remember what the, what the actual version of Raven is. Hunter conscripted against their will. Isn't I'm that everything? With that arm of yours. Oh, really? What's wrong with my arm? Trying to make your way back into Mirolodia proper. Yes. Be warned. As the city sinks deeper into the darkest umbra of the night, the beast within will offer no quarter. Well, yeah, there are no quarters in Europe. Not enough talk. Take this. It'd be like a quid. Able to re-enter without a proper fight. Angel, Angel Arena. Arena. Yeah, Angel Apina. I don't know. Team Bloodbath. BSS. By the way, I can still send you those two pictures if you want. Those two thingies. Be the enemy ten times to win. I can do that. That's not bad. It should be really easy, actually. Oh, this is where I fought Gediman. And I have a pistol. Some power-ups like the Noble Pistol require blood vials. Okay. Ow. Oh! Wow! Okay. Now, now we're having fun. There we go. There's one. Get over there. Whatever. Dickhead is. Oh, he's stuck. That's fucking funny. So it uses my drift ability, but I could just, you know, drift in a circle and kill everything. That's what I'm learning. And... Uh-oh. Sir, you seem to be stuck. Here, let me help you. Kinda help you. helped <laughs> we're four to fucking one that's great oh a third person showed up a new challenger has entered the arena and i think i just landed on somebody which is funny Right? It's just crazy. And it's funny to me that they don't give a shit. Alright, like, fun looks just don't care. Oh man, I'm in a slaughter spree? That's great. Let's go. You really gonna chase me? That was a really dumb of you, sir. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you just ran right into me. You stupid asshole. Oh my god, they just, they, they will just take everything I give them, huh? Wait. Wait. Grab that. Yeah. Fuck, fuck. Come to me. Dumbasses. Do it. You stupid fuck. Oh my god, did you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> that's so easy. Why is it so easy? you think a game that's based off of Bloodborne would be fucking hard! Or have I just been playing kart racing games for so long? The hunter parts ways with the raven and returns to central Merlodia as the darkness of the night seeps into every corner of the cursed city. The search for Nicholas will have to wait. There are beasts that need to be called the perfect job for a hunter. I guess it's time to fight the Moonsters. Fight the scary beasts! The battle arena. Ooh. Just to make sure, okay, I have gold every single level so far. I cannot wait to find out that there's still three items that I'm missing that are somewhere in these levels, and that's how Central I want the final boss. Courtyard. Like they do keep the moonlight prism or presence or whatever the God. fuck the name of the final but the moon presence thing. You know what I'm trying to say. Ah, oh, collect 4,000 blood droplets from enemies. Okay. Can I run them over? Does that count? And it's a team. Okay. okay. I can do that. Unless it, you know, decides to give me some stupid item. Oh. Come on! Assholes. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a fucking... Okay. I think I got it. Maybe. Come on. I just need to... Give me a weapon, please. Give me a good weapon. Okay, that I can extend. Most droplets. Okay. him. Can I perhaps... Fuck off! It's mine! I can steal their shit if I don't die! Still three insight! Great! Awesome! Fucking fantastic! A new hunter cart! We're breezing through this! The hunter seeks out the ever-helpful outsider, whose knowledge of the cursed city could help them locate Nicholas. But the pain of his window is dark, and inside his abode looks abominations of the night. The outsider. Wait, is this the hospital? 
Like, when you first start the game, you can go down the hallway, but there's a door behind you. And you can't go to what's behind that door until much later in the game. Yeah, Outsider's Mansion. Is this what it is? That sounds right. Like I said, I have to play Bloodborne again anyway. And I'm going to do a Beast Claw run this time because... I did the Whirly Gig, I did the Hunter's Axe, and I tried Outsider's to him. I mansion. have to do something fast, you know. Collecting a power up while one is already in use will reload it. No, I did not know that. That's good to know. I understand now. I just have to let go of the thing. Go! Oh my god, Hunter, please. This accursed night. tonight. What the hell's galaxies? Oh, that's the blue shell. Tripper. Huh. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! I don't know what the hell I did, but that was awesome! Wow, this is a very air break map. Okay. I understand. Shit. Go, 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 please. Go. Wait, what? Oh, there's six? Okay, fine. I can't work with that. No! Stop! Stop reducing your green shells or blue shells against me. This is very rude indeed. That drift was good. Oh god, this fucking game's great. Okay. Ooh. Oh. No, no, no. You can't stop me. Oh my god, you can stop me! No! No, go! Go, go, go! Fuck you! Thank you for the you got this. I believe in you too. You have whatever the hell you need to do. <laughs> Welcome to chat first time chatter. How are you? After consulting the Outsider's directory, the hunter travels to Merilodia College, where Nicholas is said to dwell. What they find within may only raise more questions. I'm doing good, how are you? I'm great. Which is so hard to say these days, but I'm actually doing great. Special. Have I missed anything? No. At least insight wise, the answer is a no. Special. Okay, so this is a boss fight. So this this is Nicholas. Okay. Or sorry, Mikolash. Wait, no, this isn't Bloodborne! Nicholas. Totally original character. Do not steal. Ah, yes. The architect. You kept Do the you fucking inclinations in the voice. Eyes? Oh yes, the I eyes cost the eyes. Awaken from this nightmare. 
There's a birdie on his head. Stop us. You cannot catch us. Is he gonna fucking run? <laughs> like I know that was in the trailer, but there's no way he actually just runs. Oh my god! I love this game! This is so stupid! It's a one-to-one. -one. I hate this boss! Having to find him? Oh, there's no map either. It's actually a one-to-one. -one. Okay, where are my fucking... Where is... This asshole? <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, Nikolas. Which I wanted to say Nikolas. Oh, God damn it, this is so hard to say. All right, I started from over there, right? So he took this corner, and then he went. Let's go straight. Whoa, 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 back the fuck up. Oh my God, this is straight up the exact same thing. Chasing his stupid ass. Sir, what am I supposed to do with you? Wait, am I supposed to boost into him? Like what? Oh my god. This game. Ah! Uh, I understand an architect, some say the builder. Yes. Now I'm allowed the weapons. Wait, is he to my left? Yeah, he is. Right there. Perfect. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get out of the corner. It's okay. Okay. Are you gonna Is that a hit? I can't tell. That was. No idea how, but it was. Come on. How are you, buddy? There you are. Dumbass. Walk directly into my attack! Ow! Walk directly into me! Now he's gonna do his tentacle attacks, isn't he? Oh my god, that is actually, I think, verbatim the words. This nightmare never ends. This is the right way. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's if you got hit. Well, I'm not bad at this game. One to one of the same map. Oh. Are you dickhead? Now you're somewhere. There you are. Oh. He's talking about the fucking eyes! We are so I knew! I knew he was gonna talk about eyes! His fucking eye fetish has no end! Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I have to think. Because it has to do with. How, how am I gonna work with this? It's this, isn't it? He has to come over here. How do I convince him to come over here? 
Get him to go through that door down there in a way that I want. So I need to come from a different direction. How am I gonna get to that direction? Down here, is there a button? Can I loop and do something wild? The answer seems to be yeah no. Damn, it is a 1-1, one one. yeah, including pissing me off because he just doesn't want to go into the arena that I want to go into. Oh, I think you mean the map. I'm assuming you mean the map. How do I get to the point? He's gotta go to the back door. Because I want him in here. Yeah, I want him in here, which means he's gotta fall through the ceiling. Hard to fall through the ceiling. He has to come through that. How am I gonna do that? <laughs> or wait, wait. Phoebe has an idea. Not sure it's the best idea, but it is a idea. I don't know why I boosted there. I think I'm not going to be seen. I used to work with Robin Rock Cards for what I wish to behold. a different door now, so maybe this will work. I'm gonna say no, but it could. It does not. Okay. That door's not gonna work, so it has to come through here. Maybe I just have to be fast enough? Wait. Can I... No. Of course not. That's the arena. Damn it! I just have to be on top of him, I think. Oh my god, how do I stop him? You dare, computer. Okay. Should be back here. Yeah. God damn. How do I do this? Give me your strength! <laughs> I have no fuck clue what I'm doing! There's gotta be something I'm missing here. It's gotta be... It's, it's right there. It's right there. Hold on. Can I? Is there a drop? Fuck! I understand now. Go in. 
don't know. You're fine. I understand how this works now. Just gonna... Sup. Bag. Uh-oh. I did something weird. There it goes. Do it, Nicholas. Come on, where? Right. There you are. Oh my god, there's another one? The eyes cost the eyes! What? What? Got away. What? Thine casket. Do I have to fucking ch Oh my god, this game. Oh no, you did not. What am I supposed to do? Whoa! What am I supposed to do? Location arrived. It's kind of hoping I can build up a little bit more. I have to keep up with him. Yeah, but I'm, I'm. He keeps going. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but he's doing something that's annoying. Is it because I'm going through the wrong door? <sighs> There's two doors. I'm going through the wrong one. I understand now. Oh my god, this game. Nicholas, you're insane. <laughs> oh my god, you do all the jumps to fucking shoot him in the head. That's brilliant. I love that. This cannot be happening. No, this isn't happening. No, oh, the blah blah. Why, why am I fighting for? GG, thanks. Oh man, this, this ether gun's really good. Still don't know what Bullet actually does in this iteration. Or Insight, they don't seem to do shit. Is that just a freebie? Uh, that was not a freebie. I have to go back and redo it. Oh my god, I have no insight. Oh, it's the first time I've lost. After consulting the outsider's directory, the hunter travels to Merilodia College where Nicholas is said to dwell. Oh my god, they're making you dead. They're making me do it again. Oh my god. 
I can work with that. I know what to do. I know how his three phases work. Okay. Drop down. First phase. Ah, overshoot. Yes. And. Yeah. Over Overshoot. Go this way. Because I want him. God damn it. Nicholas, where are you? God damn it. God damn you, Cypher. You're gonna stay right there for me, right, Nicholas? Yeah, fuck you, dickhead. We're going this way, cunt. Yeah! This is the room I want you in! What increases it in, inside is just for a secret thing? A secret thing. I like secret things. You come to me. Four minutes. I don't think I can do four minutes. Oh my god. Okay, so this time. Okay, he's out there. And now what I'm gonna do this door drop right down on top of that. Nicholas, did you tell you were about hidden thing or something? <laughs> I will read that in a minute. Buddy. There you are. Come that way. Did you tell you about a hidden thing last fight? Oh, yes. We did talk about that last time. Yeah, he's saying it now. And he always takes left. He always takes left. We're not gonna waste the boost because the boost will be the uh, for the pistol. We need to hold off for the pistol. Now I have the ammo for the pistol, we're at 410 now, that's bad. We need to somehow even solve the war Oh! 
441, I have to cut 40 seconds off of that? I'm not sure how. Besides the beginning where I screwed up because I have to have him go through the portal and then turn around. I'm gonna need some better damage physical weapons, but even then, I needed to roll the physical weapons. Huh. Two for a secret thing. Right, all the insights for a secret. So... Am I actually building my top speed over the course of the game? Having bested the Keeper of the Nightmare, the Hunter returns to the Misty Dream seeking answers about the Architect from the beings that first initiated the Hunter, only to find preparations underway for the final race as the false reality that is the Dream begins to collapse. That is a very long sentence. Race. Yeah, of course Herman's in it. Is it everybody against me? Oh my god, everybody's against me. Huh. Yeah, that's the top damage physical item I have. Rainbow Road Time? Oh my god, no. No. And I'm guessing I have to replay three of these levels to find the, uh, totally oh, not umbilical cords. cords. You can boost out of a damage state if you're not countered. I did not know that. Joking, it is fucking Rainbow Road. That is hilarious. Oh, oh, bitch. What do you mean wrong way? Oh my god, I have to start over. Even the music? Oh my god, it is the Rainbow Road. <laughs> it's like, it, that's retar- It's so ridiculous, I love it! Get the fuck out of the way, mouse. Outside, so I can try and get along to the stones. Not my way. So Bunlif is a playable character, right? I can I unlock the Bunlif? There's a god, there's gotta be a Bunlif play. Oh my god, this is still the first look, like... Damn. 
They're getting mad. No! No, no, no! You gonna unlock her with cheats? Good. Good. I just got fucking response. Fuck it! I will hold on to this weapon. Oh god. Come on, guys! Fuck it. Yes. Exit. Oh my god. What do you mean wrong way? Why am I going that way? <laughs> game! This game is insane! Fuck off. Get off my ass. Oh my god. God, this last level is ridiculous. I have a lot to catch up on. Fuck that. Why did I stop? I'm holding A. God damn, this level's hard. I was complaining earlier that the game was too easy. Then I entered the Nicholas fight. And instantly it turned into the hardest game ever. I spoke too soon. My hubris has damned me. Holy shit, okay. They are not happy with me now. Woo 
Uh oh. This looks like the best game ever. It is fucking ridiculous, but I'm on the last level and it suddenly became the hardest game ever. Or one of the last levels. And I need to blink. My eye just got really watery and I'm starting to cry. I have not blinked in a while. Thank you. Thank you. Give me that fucking health. Holy shit. Nikolash. I'm gonna keep calling him some mix between Nikolash and Nikolas. Get the fuck out of my way, dude. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah, see, I can't boost out of fucking being stunned, but I can certainly, certainly, certainly use a fucking weapon. Why am I in second? Who's ahead of me? Who is that? Oh, God. Come on, give me a good item. Give me a good item. Please. That's some type of boost item. That's not a boost item. Makes sense. Determined, isn't it? He's the one in front of me. It's gotta make the most sense. Damn! So, the dream ends. God! Fuck! <laughs> TB, hi. How are you? TV, you've awoken to find yourself deep in a dark room. You've done something to me, and now it won't leave my head. It's been a week, and it won't leave my fucking head. As the night comes to a close, the hunter confronts Herman about the truth behind the dream and its architect. But the old man had something different in mind. Herman alongside all the other participants encountered during the dream, gather for one final hunt, one final battle, one where only one hunter will remain standing. About to take a COVID test? Ooh! Uh. Yeah, I know, that sounds awful. I understand. Damn it! Damn it! But there are no achievements! Do I have to 100% the game? Do I do it? Does it matter? Pocket Dream Field! <laughs> I wanna know who did the VA shit for this game. By the way, TB. Honestly, what did you think about that story I told you yesterday? Like, right after it happened, too. Pretty fucking crazy, right? As the Venn diagram of my life closes more and more. God damn it. Okay. Who's, uh, who's going first? Refuse to die, guys. Uh oh. Maybe I'm not gonna refuse to die. Where am I going? Okay. Don't so die. Got a double kill. 
don't actually know what the fucking uh, point is. Come on! There we go. Get off me. Get off me, old man! Fuck off! Survive? Are they trying to... What am I doing? Like, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. But I definitely killed somebody, and I'm in a slaughter spree now, which means they can't hurt me. I don't know what drop blood blood droplets do exactly. The game has not actually told me yet. I do know. I don't want to. Oh, the amount of people has gone down. I don't think people are responding. People are not responding. Hi. Story was exciting when he's twisting turns and you told it wonderfully. Oh, I'm pretty good at telling stories. Oh no, if only I got top insight in the last two things, then I would actually know stuff. Hi, sorry, I'm here. Don't worry, we we're just talking about how yesterday I told CB a wonderful story. And now I've beat up a crippled person off the road. Good old Gadmin. Sorry, Herman. Yeah, I'm burning your house down. Silly doll. Now give me the blood. Here we stand at the end of this nightmare. Well, until the next one starts, it's always a cycle. The of the dream with their silly customs have attempted to use you to further their own selfish goals. But your role in this is greater than anything you could have imagined. Kind hunter. Not I kind. For you freedom. I don't want freedom. Freedom from this nightmare. Do you accept? Are you gonna open up and kill me? Are you gonna eat me? Is this like a fourth thing? The truth has been revealed. The city of Miriol Mirilodia, the race, the nightmare. It was all born from an ancient yearning to make contact with angels, cosmic beings beyond our understanding. Now, at the end of this terrible dream, Onet offers to free you from this nightmare. Do you accept? The plot of this game makes more sense than Bloodborne. Also... I, when you say angels, and you have some Bloodborne-based bullshit, or like a parody game of Bloodborne, right? Homage, whatever. Don't think for a fucking second that my brain doesn't think of like Paul Shapira, New, <laughs> New Albion Guide to Analog Consciousness Angels. I'm thinking biblically accurate, thousand eyes, Fucking millions of wings angels, right? Or the weird fly creatures that are in Hellboy. Because supposedly there were angels at one point of Hellboy. Turns out they weren't actually angels. But the first race of man in Hyper uh, Hyperbolia, those are angels. Fallen angels because they made first life. They made the Ogdru Jihad. Hellboy's funny. 
Typically accurate angel is one way to describe it. Ooh, submit life or refuse. Well, I can come back once I make a choice, right? This isn't a I have to restart the game thing, right? This isn't actual Bloodborne or, uh, God help us, zero, zero ranger. Did you say beforehand? Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um. I'm gonna refuse for now. A lifeless doll. Yes, that's what that is. Do you have no other text to say, narrator? There's your answer. <laughs> now I have saved. Insane what this game asks of you. <coughs> so this should be the fight with Herman. Or the moon presence. That's a moon presence. That, that's a something. Oh my god, it's Mergo. No, it's Herman still. With the doll. In the end, you were just another useless puppet. How disappointing. Ah, so I got the bad ending and the cycle starts again, right. The actual... Fight Herman. The nightmare begins. Yeah. Again. So literally the ending of Bloodborne the first time around. If you don't know what you're doing. Yeah! Bunlith! We love the Bunlith! You didn't find the cords, you didn't you don't get to fight the totally not moon presence. It's it will go back. Gianna. Gianni. Wait, isn't that the person who does the fake videos with uh with Columbo? Evelyn Lark is awesome. Who the hell? I know Gianni! I think I know the right Gianni. Who the hell is Evelyn Lark? God, I love Columbo. So one more thing. Evelyn Lark is a known for nightmare cart. She did the music for the game? I figured you knew her for somebody else. Nightmare Cart's development was funded in part by Patreon, which was supported by See if I recognize any names here. I would not be surprised if I saw somebody like Caddy or Doofer or uh, Nightmind might because he. I think Nightmind has talked about. Uh, has talked about Bloodborne in the past. Bloodwolf the Fox. Nice name. Kanehurst Crow, that's great. 
That person's a fucking legend. <laughs> Connor McLeod sounds familiar, but I'm pretty sure that's a character from uh, Highlander. I'm so glad I messed with the uh, the options last week to change how the screen looked. This feels like I'm playing a PlayStation 1 game again, and it's been years. Uh, the nostalgia is hitting really, really hard. I don't recognize a lot of these. I was kind of figuring at the very least I was going to see some, uh, some sort of familiar name. Like other PlayStation 1 artists, like, uh, like I said, Do for 64 or, um, what's that person who takes different characters, like Nintendo characters or The Last of Us and makes PlayStation 1 and N64 models out of them. Is that Regressor? It's been so long since I've even looked at that person's art that I can't remember the name. Matt Walsh, not that one. <laughs> Matthew Martin, Matthew Martin, Megan Fox, that can't be the right one. Misunderstood Sapphic Vampire. Love that. No. Noah, uh, no night mind. Noah Walker sounds familiar, but that's probably because my brain's thinking of uh, Noah Maxwell, and that's bad. Patches the cat. That's funny. Haru. <laughs> we got some Crash Bandicoot bosses helping with the game. Scott Campbell sounds familiar. God damn. Fucking music. find three chords now, huh? Would have been funny. No Walker, that can't be the one I I know. Wait, I'm dumb. It is, it isn't. Darn, would have been. I got Noah, Aunt Willer, and Doug Walker fused. Okay, I know who Doug Walker is. Who is Noah, Aunt Willer? That sounds very familiar. Also, yes, trans rights. Motorized wheelchair unlocked. Tell me that is the best vehicle so I can use it to uh, save my completed progress. Spoonie? Okay. That's who I was thinking. If I say progress, what happens? Don't overwrite your save? Cool. All I needed to know. New Game Plus. Okay. Press X to boost. The hunter wakes to a misty dream surrounded by a host of peculiar characters. Fun fact, this game goes up to New Game Plus 99. Yeah, but like what actually happened? I have to play through the whole game again? I already made the save. If I... Yeah, no, fuck that. Quit to menu. Then... We can figure some shit out. By mean like in Bloodborne? Oh yeah, every new game plus the other races start with more and more blood. Fuck that. I 
I saved. I saved. We'll see the the other base ending. Then we'll go for the uh the fun stuff. Oh. The doll was That was a darkin. It 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 literally is the exact same ending one to one. But with Kerr, but with Kerr. And my arms are normal. I always find that funny that out of all three endings, or three or four endings you can get in Bloodborne, the best ending is just die. Because the. I guess there was Kerr. But yeah, no, it's, it's funny to me that the whole point is, yeah, just die. Because everything is a dream. It's literally Inception. The entire last fight is, hey, this is a dream world within the dream world. All of Yarnum is the dream, and then Yarnum... Or that the Hunter's Dream is a dream within a dream. Now, wake the fuck up. Samurai. We have a city to burn. Or, right, you become the new center of the cycle. Very House of Leaves-like. Or... You killed the Lovecraftian horror. Become the baby Lovecraftian horror. Now, we have to replay some missions. We have... Two levels that we have to get full insight on. And we have to do the three chords. Where are the three chords? Best question ever. No, oh, they're moon shards in the boss fights. Are they really? One rest where the dead lie, another where bush and beast intertwine. Bush and beast intertwine. Where the dead lie would be Garman's fight, right? Because Garman is in the church's graveyard. Which would be there. Yeah, Angel Graveyard. In other words, Bush and Beast intertwine. And then where you fight the shadows of Yarnum, but totally not the shadows of Yarnum. And the last is beneath his watchful eye. What is beneath his watchful eye? One from Gregory, one from Nicholas. I assume the sisters have the one I'm missing, but I can't seem to find it. Has anyone else found it? You're looking in the right place. Okay, so I was right. The Shadows of Yarnum. So it's going to be... One of these two fights. I think it's that one. 
that and that. Hmm. It's those three. Cool. Um, anyone playing these? There's one the cage guy fight with the mirrors. After you trap him the first time, get his health down. And you can chase him into the mirror. There's a place where you can drive off of a bridge and die. To decide that, there's a narrow path that leads to a moon shard. Since two are in boss fights, I would guess that the third is also in a boss fight. The cage guy gives hints about where they are at the end of the fight. Yeah. Um. Go to the forest area. I'm literally looking at it right now. And it's literally to the left before you take the boost to the center stage. I'm assuming something will mark it off of my level select when I grab these. I'm going to also assume that I have to beat the level again to actually have confirmation. I can't just back out. Forbidden Forest Arena. Capture the insight. So learn to left before you take the boost. The center. Once you eat the moon shard, you can just leave. All oh, thank to the Lord. Oh, it's that fucking green thing! I'm looking at it! I need to get around somehow. How do I how do I get around this? Top right corner, Phoebe. Top right corner. God damn it. It's this. Pick it up. You can't be holding an item. Oh, that's fucking ridiculous. God damn it. Okay, so. Turn this way. Alright. I'll leave. Use it first. Fuck! Okay. I should have figured, right? It's an item. It makes sense. Princess, shut the f I'm stupid, okay? Be happy I'm streaming again. You got this? Alright, so Hobo Mike really knows this game. Are you secretly bum left? Is this the secret the entire time? I'm eating the fucking things, right? Yeah. 
I should tell you how laggy I am. I was screaming that before you left. I am happy. No, but I am the current world record speedrunner. Oh my god, wait, are you serious? I like that I go to speedrun.com and the latest run is from some game called the Yaldi's Bitch House. <laughs> Come on. Come on, computer. You've got this. I believe in you. It's been forever, but you can do this. So it doesn't mark it off. No, but we know we did it, and that's what matters. Holy shit! Dude, congrats on your fucking world record 21 days ago. No shit. Wow. That's incredible. Being friends with all these people from all these different communities, like fucking, you know, rail and podcasters and shit like that. And wow, I've never been had somebody who's a, a top speed runner before. That's incredible. Congratulations. That is awesome. Was not expecting Can that. Hear them? The snarls of filthy beasts. Beasts who must be hunted. Beasts who must <laughs> be slaughtered. It's only a matter of time until you become one. I love that mouth design. I don't know what it is. Alright, so it's gotta be... He got away. Where is it here? It's before the arena fight itself, right? And to find it after the chase section. Okay. So it's in the arena. God, now you say that, and I'm just like, man, now I need a speed run again. It's been far too long. And I keep saying that. But it's been too long since I've speed ran again. Gregory, leave me alone, please. Is that it? That's it. Wow, that's an easy one to find. I mean, they're not all gonna be that easy, right? Thank you for the hydrate. I can do that.
is why I keep a water bottle at all times. All right, so that's two. Now the Nicholas fight. So if I don't need insight for the final boss, what does insight do? Who is that that picks up a knife-sized crystal shard and just fucking eats it? Crash. You want insight oh, for the final boss? Yes. I want insight for the final Young boss? Dead. Do you not hear our green? I missed one. I figured I'll well just try and get the insight now, and then I can go for the moon shard. Get both things ah. done. Yes. So I need him to go down two flights of stairs. I don't know how you would speed run this game. But kudos to you, dude. Me, I'm just fucking speed running Braid and Mega Man X4. I still need to get a new game. I'm in a really bad time with that. God damn, I'm having a really bad time today. I need to go in about an hour and a half. That's fine. Oh, yes. I understand. Like I said, I'll still send you. Fuck. I'll still send you this thing. on the usual spots. Half an hour? Oh, and it's fine back now that you are after the shards, right? Is that seriously how his AI works? Is he like, no, she's trying to get that thing I told her about. Why did I tell her about it? What the hell is wrong with me? God damn, he's really fighting me. Oh shit, I am not allowed to hit him. Holy shit, I am not allowed to hit him. coming after me. Oh my god! Sir! I'm a good kitty! Leave me alone! Holy shit! On the plus side, not COVID. On the negative side, I feel so crap. Do you want to cancel the podcast recording tomorrow? I might as well just ask him now.
No, no cancel. Because they're kids are in the way you can't pass <laughs> uh, just remember the podcast uh, the, the topic for this week is holy shit he is really mad at me oh my god fuck off leave me alone no no shoot me fuck off Give me them. <laughs> I think I fucked him up. Oh god. Okay. Nope. He is uh he is still angry at me. Oh my god! No! Don't fucking Bad laptop. This guy. This not this one. I am getting the worst RNG possible. And the worst part is you he has invincibility frames. Cause it's still a cart racer. Yes. The So I can't just spam the bullet. I have to let him go invincible and then attack him again. Just so counterproductive to what Bloodborne is. Like, I'm loving this game. Don't get me wrong. This fight points out one of the many big things, which is if you're going to have boss fights, don't invincibility frame. Or at the very least, only make it a certain amount of attacks, right? Like, I love Mario Kart on the, uh, the DS as, well, as one of the best ones, but that's because I like the battle mode. But the battle mode's whole thing is, hey. Oh my God, please. Yeah, like, you can't spam it. Which to me makes no sense, because I feel like I should. Right? Fire fast enough and accurate enough, you can hit him before the eye frames. Magnificent. Really? This is definitely not a game I would speak of. Then again, I thought for a little bit that my next one would be something like what's it called? Zero Ranger. That's not happening. I don't know why I want the next speed one. I'd say that for years. <laughs> um, okay, so I read it with something like a bridge, which means it's probably this. It's gonna be here. Oh my god, it's this. That was easy. Alright, so final boss. And I'm going to save beforehand. But the insight is needed for the final boss. And I will see why. Safety save. Not rotating, but still safety save. All right. Good luck? Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, totally not the moon presence. So he's gonna fly, right? 
<laughs> good luck. Oh man, good luck from the number one speedrunner. This is... Is that the fucking Moonblade? Is that the goddamn Moonblade? Don't slow down. I'll try. Ha! You die. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Crescent acts when I... It's fucking Zero Ranger again! Using melee launches you forward. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because Crescent Axe does the same thing. I do not, however, agree to these terms. Oh my god, it uses ether. What happens if I run out of insight? What happens if I quit out of the game and then reload? I keep my insight, right? I saved on 38. That's why you say it before the fight. Jesus Christ. Okay, so it's not as bad as Zero Ranger. If you don't know, Zero Ranger is a shmup. Um, and its big deal is if you lose, you, uh, during the true final boss, the true final boss, however many hits you have, is dependent on how many continues you have when you finish the boss beforehand. Um, um, <laughs> that was supposed to be a launch pad, wasn't it? But yeah, it, it plays a Yoko Taro tr type trick on you, and uh, so you can gain up to eight save or eight continues before you uh before you attempt the second to last final boss that's kind of like a roguelike stuff saves um and if you, so you do the boss rush that is the final stage oh man you uh you can do the uh the true fi finale now right <gasps> no you got turned around? Fuck. So yeah, so you do the final stage first thing, which is a, a boss rush. And you've used so many continues during the boss rush. And then the game goes, would you like to continue? And all the continues that you have left is how many hits you can take during the true final boss. If you lose during the true final boss, uh, the game deletes your save. And so you start back from stage 1-1 one, one in this shmup. And you start the game over with zero continues in your save and you have to earn everything again. And it's fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. You died. This is easier than it is. it looks, isn't it? I'm just bad now. This isn't easy? Okay. Putting a platforming challenge in my racing game. I guess it makes sense. They put platforming challenges in my... My fucking... From soft games. It actually makes sense. And that's why I really like the armored core!
No! Zoned right in. Oh, he is not getting that little cart. He is not getting into baby's first cart. I love this fucking game. He is the baby now. Merilodia, oh my god, so it's it's Queen Yarnum. Kinda. Where are you, buddy? Where are ya? Is this just a freebie now? Nope! It is not! God damn it. Stop that, sir. I see now what you mean by, uh, the invincibility print. Wait, do I still shoot the beans? <laughs> yes, I do. God, this come on, buddy. God damn it, sir. enough ether you do shoot beams this is amazing he has summoned Gregory again that's not Gregory oh shit Shit, what do I do? He's just standing there menacingly? Yeah. What am I supposed to do here? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm not supposed to attack that, am I? Yes, get that health transfer. Yes, please. Thank you. There are two of them. If I can kill one of them, right? Oh, maybe? He did something there. No, you will not go to sleep, laptop. What am I doing? Ooh, kill one of them. Don't know how. Did something. The other. Yeah, there is up there. And landed on top of me. 
I literally just got dive kicked. Okay, so fight him, but then he summons two minions, kill the minions, don't see their health bar, and then go fuck yourself. Fun left. Fun left. Come on. This is horseshit. One of them was an illusion and wasn't real. How do you tell? And only one transfusion? Though I guess I didn't lose the insight, did I? Oh god, did I? The health bar at the bottom? It didn't seem like anything was changing. Maybe I'm crazy. Holy shit, he just... He just oh, god. Not mine. oh my god, he got so much more aggressive than last time. I'm gonna die again. You died. <laughs> How do you do this? Like this part I now have, vaguely. Hard half towards. Confounds me. I forgot about that one. Are you actually asking how are you just being rhetorical? I'm not sure. Cause I'm a gun I'm a kind of expecting the answer to be get good. Or stay on top of them.
like, that's the problem. That's whenever I hit him, I feel like I'm also taking damage. Wait. Maybe not. Curse you, foul demon. Angel, whatever. Do not give a shit. I think I'm just getting really good RNG here. I think that's entirely it. There's speedrunner cheese here, but I will wait till you want it. Mm. I don't think I'm speedrunner good. That's the illusion because I'm not doing anything else. If I get rid of it, it does. It at least gets rid of a point. That's the problem. I'm gonna need it. It's not what I want. Not yet. It's whatever. Ah! <laughs> Asshole! No! Was that it? Yes! Now I become baby. I have many friends who would be happy with that. <laughs> I become baby moon presence? No, I am the Shaw Goth. No, I am the Shaw Goth. It's not a Shaw Goth. If anything, it's kind of like a Migoy or Migo, but eh. Yes, praise me. You are baby Mongo. Oh! I haven't seen Murgo's wet nurse! I didn't even think about that! I didn't see the one reborn either! How the fuck do you do the one reborn in this? Just drives a monster truck. Margo is bloodborne, you are baby mink. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, Lord. So that's all three endings. I become squibbly destroyer of carts. I did. I became destroyer of carts. That's another game off my Steam list. CTV, we're doing so well with this. A couple weeks ago, like a month and a half ago, on TV and I's part podcast, Nerds of Broadcast, I started talking about how I had a project. I was going to actually go through the Steam, because we all buy Steam games in bulk during summer sales and winter sales, right? But then we never end up playing it. So I decided, not going to buy any more games, or going to try not to, going to finish the games that I've started, or that I've bought, right? 
Because I had to. I'm about to get going now, princess. I don't even know what the hell we're doing after this. Are you telling me that there's insight in this level and I got it? Total insight, 17 out of 40. Okay. Baby carriage unlocked. I'm not using a fucking baby carriage. <laughs> out, of, out of respect for myself. Let's be fair, there is no respect there. <laughs> I'm not using the baby carriage. <laughs> ah, crap. The hunter awakens to a misty dream. The baby carriage has the best stats, doesn't it? I guess we're gonna find out in two seconds. Select cart! Um, let's see, we have the baby carriage. It has relatively close but less handling than the hunter cart which i didn't even realize i was not like wait no i was using the motorcycle by the end right yeah i was um so size goes down weight goes up so drifting is slightly better and the handling is better huh size and weight are huge handling is bl horseless carriage kind of sounds bad Of course, Mary, because not Maria, hers is interesting. The birdcage. Oh, my God. Nicholas has the best handling. That's hilarious. Any cart that isn't boar is good. Do I have boar? The operating table. <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? That's hilarious. Uh, select a melee weapon. It's still those ones, so I don't get to do the thing that we did back in the past. There's a video, by the way. So, the actual real Bloodborne. Um, me and a former roommate had a deal. If I beat Bloodborne, he buy me Elden Ring. That happened. If I platinumed Bloodborne, he'd buy me another game. I got Axiom Verge 2 out of it, because Axiom Verge is one of my favorite Metroidvanias of all time. Actually, it is the best Metroidvania I've played. So, there's a video on the YouTube of my first time going through the DLC, The Old Hunters. First try, Orphan of Koss. Because the hunter's axe, or the hunt, yeah, I think it's the hunter's axe, charged R2 while two handing is the most OP attack in the game. Here's a starter item spin to win. It knocks everybody down, including Orphan of Cause. That kind of seems a little broken. Nobody told me this. I just decided to try it. It worked. So, in the past week, that is, let's think about this, did 7th Guest for TV, did this, had the number one speedrunner show up, which is still amazing, thank you once again for showing up Hobo Mice, not that I deserve it in any way, shape, or form, beat Nightmare Cart, so now I have to figure out my next stream game, because Dark Souls 3 is the one for September up. <sighs> and it's probably still going to be Steam games. You know, so I can use the, Steam, uh, the stream to continue down the list. You're an excellent streamer. Don't below yourself. Thank you, Hobo Mice. That is really nice of you to say. I just want to see. So, clearly the hunter, the doll. <laughs> B 
baby version of my former stepmom. Um, that is the... Getting there a bit. That's Garenman. So that's gotta be Gascoigne? Gascoigne. Can't remember. The tutorial creatures. Maria. Mikolash. Still 1v1 even to the point of the coattails. Um, Shadows of Yarnum. Well, this isn't the Outsiders, because there's no grease in this thing's hair. It doesn't have a hair. And it's not Stephen King's The Outsider, thank God, because then I would not be allowed to stream this game, because there would be a dead and R-worded child on screen. And that's... No. No. A great book, by the way. One of the most fucked up he's ever written. Actually, let's be fair, Revival is the scariest book he's ever written, because if you've never read Revival, the plot of that book is, do not die. Like, the moral of the book is, do not die. It does not matter if you're good or bad, the afterlife sucks. It is super ultra mega hell. You are... The pod headed guys. Where the brain of Mensis is, I'm guessing. You're the things that cause insanity if I stare at them too long. The grabby hand heads. Kind of obvious. <laughs> and random. Funny. Now I have to do it. Now I have to know. Cheats! Because now that I've changed the filter to look like my PlayStation 1 experience, let's see what Bumlith looks like. Yeg? Of course it's fucking Yeg! <laughs> I've thought about buying one of her stickers and posting it on machines at work just to see what would happen. Would anybody know? I mean, no, I haven't gotten in trouble yet for doing stuff like, uh, playing Last Christmas over at the intercom and whamma getting everybody. This Christmas, if I'm still working there, I'm gonna play, uh, It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Fish Men Everywhere I Go. The Shut Over Innsmouth version of Getting to look a lot like Christmas. It's perfect. <laughs> and if I'm still there for yeah. Halloween, either Sesamoid's version of Terror Time from Sco Scooby Doo on Zombie Island, or This is Halloween. Unsure which. Or a Voltaire song, in which it's probably going to be raised by bats. Because I love raised by bats. Is a fodder. Wait, can I change the fodder? Hmm. Go to fodder and click down. Oh. I didn't even see that. She is so cute! I should have got her plushie. Instead, I have Angel Gabby from Angel Hair looking at me. Probably thinks I'm being very sinful right now playing an Eldritch Abomination cart game, but... I'm sorry, Angel Gabby. That is amazing. I just saw her thumbnail. Oh, I really need to buy one of her stickers and start posting on machines. Uh, Phantom. That's funny. A mummy. Pretty funny. Okay. That's the enemies I was thinking of. That is... Unsure. Maybe that's... 
That's not the white horse. What is this supposed to be? That's an easy way, actually, to change the Raven Ball. That's amazing. For Halloween, you want the title screen music in the middle of an hour. Can't take a breath or I'll see Mr. Death. You know what? If I remember that, TV, I'll do it just for you. It's gonna be really funny when they think, oh, she can't do anything for Thanksgiving. And then Adam Sandler plays over the intercom going, Turkey for me and turkey for you. I didn't do anything for the 4th of July because I knew I was going to get fired if I played something like M.I.A. by Avenged Sevenfold or, you know, a Romstein. <laughs> So that was Nightmare Cart, another game off the hit list. And it's really good. This was absolutely worth it. <laughs> I love it. All the weird shit people buy me, like my therapist. Ugh, fucking toxic. Alyssa's is already working on the DLC. Crap! You can't tell me. Th Fuck! <laughs> there, we did it. She already put Maria in. How is she going to do the old hunters? Oh god, how does Orphan of Cos work as a nightmare cart boss? Oh. He's already so fast. I can't deal with that. That's not okay. Oh, we're going to die when that DLC comes out. What's the boss that's directly after Maria? The Mushroom People. Oh my god, I can't even think of it. No, they're the boss before Maria. The Mushroom People. The, the Hive Mind People. There's going to be a health bar, and each time you kill one, the health bar goes down. Or, or and this is the best part, she doesn't do one-to-one. -one. She makes her own special thing. I didn't know she had another game. One with barely any reviews. The models are really good, too. Like, they're not that bad. I went to school for computer animation and game design. God damn it, Maya, for being $195 a month. That was $195 a month, by the way. Maya is an expensive, expensive expensive program, and it is the only program we were taught. Didn't she also make PSX Bloodborne? Yeah, but that's exclusively on her itch.io, I think. See, they taught us modeling, cloth, particle effects, animation in school. They never taught us how to put controls on anything. Or how to port all of your stuff into an engine. But for certain engines, it's supposed to be really easy. It's either Unity or Unreal is the easy one. Like you pretty much just drag and drop. And you say, this animation is the forward animation. And then it just does it. Mm -hmm. 
And it'd be really nice to start doing that stuff again, especially mail coding, because mail coding is super fun. Like, it is ridiculous how fun coding in Mel is. Right, it's 10.55 my time, my current time. God, I can't wait to go back to Boston. God, I can't wait to get out of this shithole of a state. Or just move out of the country. Um streaming for two hours and 15 minutes that's not much but i have podcasts to edit videos to edit two vods now three vods to shorten up a little bit and upload to the youtube uh and a cat to give insulin to and cuddle up with because he is the best cat in the whole wide world I will tell Mr. Kitty to not eat the hobo mice. He is a good mice. Or she is a good mice. Pronouns? Don't want to misgender. Sorry. Very, very sorry if I did. You have nothing to worry about, actually. Mr. Kitty is a very lazy piece of shit. He will not attack you. TB, on the other hand... Mr. Kitty is willing to go over the uh, the ocean to attack you, TB. I don't use gender. I'm just Hobo. I like that. That's great. I, though I can't promise much, am going to give you a fulu. Your icon is so adorable, and you need to make a plushie of that icon because just want to hug it. And oh, that is the most adorable mouse! Thank you for the follow. Sooner or later, I'm gonna get people to uh make custom things, and it's not just gonna be the zombie walk. Really need to start on get on people with that, like sis. Good old peace week. All right. Hopefully we'll see you all on Thursday for whatever game we'll decide on next. I'm playing Cat Scratch or Cat Quest right now. Scary AF. Yeah, you and your. They're so spooky, aren't they? The kitties. Too bad you host a podcast with one TB. <laughs> <laughs> okay but in all seriousness i think i just lost internet for some reason um uh-oh maybe it's just twitch twitch might be doing the stinkies right now but either way well, it seems to be going well. Weird. Um, that was Nightmare Cart. The VOD will sooner or later be on YouTube. Same with last week's first part of the Nightmare Cart stream. Um, as well as the seventh guest full playthrough that I did for TV. Promised him that. Already I do need to add 11th hour and 13th doll to the wish list which reminds me tv i beat your microscope puzzle you still owe me lorelei and the laser eyes um on youtube there's a bunch of pre-recorded stuff currently doing virtues last reward and fallout 3 for the first time it's such a blah game and it's a evil run that is fully melee it is my 80 serial killer run, pretty much. And Nerds of Broadcast on any podcast streaming service. I hope you all have a good rest of your day, night, evening, undetermined 
period of time because you are actually an eldritch abomination living within the void between dimensions. In which case, tell Azathoth and Yogg-Sothoth I said hi and please backhand Yarlahotep across the face. Because his face is on the back of his head. That motherfucker owes me money. Have a good rest of your day. Love you all. And go drink something and eat. <laughs>